Welcome back to the Idol Master One for All. Hi. Hello. It is time for Makoto Rank C. Woohoo! So she is trying to add more of her girliness to her image as an idol. It's taking time, but we'll see how that's going for her. Zip. Uh-oh. What did I do? You broke it. Oh, that's what I did. The video ran out. <laughs> well, shit. That would be a thing. I uh, <laughs> I need it. to I need to load the next video. That's all. There we go. Kind of broke it. Yep. I broke nothing. You broke it. I kind of broke it without meaning to, but somehow didn't break it. <sighs> all right, another non-broken rank up for Makoto, <laughs> which I think we can take as a good sign that our little demographic expansion project for her is working. She, uh, huh, is she not back from the dressing room yet? Guess I'll go check on her. Makoto! Makoto! You in there? Come in, producer. I thought you were still in here. What's the matter? You still not ready to go back yet? No, I'm ready whenever. I definitely don't see her like this very often. Something must be getting her down. Hmm. Maybe I can try doing our thing? BAM! Congratulations on a flawless rank up, Makoto! Uh, uh, producer? Wouldn't you normally be more excited about winning your rank C challenge? I can tell something's bothering you. You want to talk about it? Or if you need a distraction until you cheer up, I'm more than happy to provide. Uh, <laughs> you're right. This isn't like me, is it? Thanks for trying to cheer me up, producer. So, can I ask what's going on? No. <laughs> it's, it's nothing, really. Just something kind of dumb. I was reading through my fan mail just now, and... What's so depressing about your fan mail? I'm pretty sure the last time I was skimming through it, I noticed there was a much less, much less overwhelming percentage of feminine names and girly stationery, which I would presume indicates our strategy to expand your male fan base is working. That's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, I guess, but, but you don't understand. It's, it's all wrong. Because all the letters from the guy still th say things like, You're so cool, man, or, oh, you'd be so dependable, IRL. If my life was in danger, I totally want you to come rescue me. It's all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's weird. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, the icing on the cake. Look at this one. Is it cool if I call you Big Bro Makoto? What the freaking hell? I seriously would have been satisfied to have gotten one letter from a guy calling me cute or girly or asking me out. Just one! Is that really too much to ask for? Apparently so, because this is what I get instead. Why does Makoto, when she's angry and ranting, sound like me when I'm angry and ranting? Because you're Makoto. <laughs> The more you write these, the more I see you take from the way that I talk. Well, they s it's like they say, write what you know. Oh my god. Just one, Kayla. Just one, huh? <gasps> hey! It's not funny, producer. I see you trying to stifle that laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I wasn't laughing at you, I just, I just had a... <clears throat> Nothing. You, you guys don't see this right now, but Kayla is currently curled up on her side, looking up at Hana, 
with this pathetic look of, Daddy, please pay attention to me. I'm doing a show, <laughs> dog. She has a name. She's in trouble right now. She's not in trouble. <laughs> okay, no. What? I'm sorry. She hasn't done anything wrong. I'm sorry, I was making cute. a joke. I didn't think you'd take offense to that. I'm sorry. Kayla would pout and be a depressed. Come here, Kayla. Come, Come here, baby. Come here. My good girl. Don't listen to daddy. I'm sorry. I'm giving you a hard time. Kayla, go get daddy. Go get him. Come here. Kayla. Come here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. She, she doesn't like being grabbed like that lately. Get daddy. Get him. Can we please get back? No. <laughs> All right. Guess that's tonight's nope. show, everyone. I'm kidding. Oh. <sighs> God damn it! Just, I just can't get over that big bro Makoto. Really? Is my name really that unfeminine? Ugh, it just isn't fair. Um, Makoto. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think you should be taking it so hard, you know? It doesn't change the fact that you've got more guys going out of their way to write you letters now. They honestly want to show you their support. I'm aware of that, of course. I can understand it, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> no, I guess not. The whole reason we went for this in the first place was because you said you wanted them to see you as a cute girl more. Exactly! Instead, it's more of the same bullshit! Makoto, don't curse, you're an idol. <laughs> She's with her producer she, right now in private. She's with producer... What? Producer backstage, so she can curse all the fuck I mean, maybe it's wants. just the fact that, like, I don't see teenagers curse that much in anime. Well, that's because you watch them in Japanese with English subtitles, and <laughs> most fan subbers don't write this way, but I picture Makoto as being one of the more rough-around-the-edges type types, especially with the way she talks. I mean, it, I, I've talked with, about this with you before, but it's hard, it's a lot harder to get across the way someone talks... How do I want to say this? It's harder to get someone's personality across just by transliterating Japanese because someone's personality, in Japanese, someone's personality comes across more through their, uh, the structure of their language, their, their choice of language structure more than their, their choice of words. So there's a lot of different ways to say the same thing. And if you don't take that into account when you're writing your your fan subs take into it or your subs in general take into account that there's different ways to say the same thing in English as well, then you're going to miss a lot of personality or a lot of chances to expand on, say, your own personal interpretation of a character's personality. See, maybe I would I would understand that more if I understood Japanese better. Usually, their personality comes across to me in their tone of voice. The way they say something, rather than the words they use. But mm -hmm. that's just me. Well, a lot of... A, uh, half the time when I'm writing these, I'm not actually listening to the, uh, the sound, which is probably a bad habit, but if I can't, if I can't figure out how, exactly how I want to say or word something when I'm writing, I'll go back and listen to the sound, but anyway, tangent over. Meh. Is my interpretation of Makoto right or wrong or 100% absolutely correct? I don't know, I'm not claiming it is or isn't, but this is my personal interpretation of the, of the character, this is my, pers my personal fan sub, so <sighs> this is what Dub. I've got, this is what I've got to show, share with you. Dub. We're dubbing it. Dub. <laughs> With three people, we are dubbing it. I mean, 
I'm not too broken up about the girl still treating me like this, but now I've kind of gotten used to it. But to, s to start trying to make myself more attractive to the boys, as a girl, only to get the exact same reaction from them? That's a serious blow to my self-esteem right there. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'd make me feel pretty terrible, too. Agreed. Makoto, to be perfectly honest, even now, that image people have of you as cool, tough, and reliable is still very much a part of who you are, and it's a good thing, and I wouldn't want you to change that about yourself. We just have to accept that we're still going to have people who react to it. I know it's frustrating, but I told you before, it's just going to take time to add your cuteness to your public image. But if we keep on putting it out there, I'm positive someone will pick up on it for you eventually. All we have to do is refrain from assuming we failed right away and keep working on it. Okay? You're right. That's all we can do. I don't care how much it sucks, and believe me, it really does suck. But the one thing I absolutely refuse to ever do is give up. That's the spirit. And I'll be right there with you the whole way. Honestly, though, I'm not sure I was expecting the reaction from the guys to be quite this lopsided either. I'm starting to get a little worried myself. Worst case, I may have no choice but to act on that thought I had. It's inappropriate enough to be hilarious, and it can hardly be expected to solve everything. But, well, let's wait a little while longer and see what happens. Is he gonna, like, put Makoto through a gravier shoot where she's in, like, really, really girly, skimpy clothing? Oh, just wait. Before we start the next scene, can we turn the overhead fan on? I'm a little warm. Up! Bless you, child. Ugh. Ow. It sounded like it hurt. Hmm? Did you just hit the wall? No, I hit the wall with my blanket that I took off. Why is the blanket hitting the wall with that much force? I don't... I don't know what happened, okay? Hana, please stop. Hurting yourself? I didn't hurt myself! Stop making weird sounds and we just get concerned that you hurt yourself! <laughs> if you bring that up here, it's gonna get taken away. Come to think of it, shouldn't Makoto be getting back from her shopping soon? It's starting to get a little late. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, she sounds like a fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto Kikuchi returning to base. <laughs> ah, welcome back, Makoto. What's up? You've got a somewhat uncharacteristically silly grin on your face. Something good happen? <laughs> you can tell? Well, you're not gonna believe this, but I got scouted coming out of the station! Scouted. As in, by another idol agency? Yep, he called out to me like, Hey you, you're pretty cute. How would you like to learn to be an entertainment superstar with us? Please give us a call if you're interested. In other words, he tried to poach you from us. I don't know if I'd go that far. I don't think you realized I already was an idol. Wouldn't that kinda complicate the issue of whether this is something to be so happy about. You know, further. N now that you mention it? <laughs> but come on, man, I'm just super stoked someone else called me cute. Oh yeah, he gave me a business card, too. Star Harmony Academy, huh? Never heard of this agency. Is this a reference to something? Icots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure I wasn't sure if this was a reference to iCots or the game I'm making. <laughs> I thought this was a stab at the game I'm making for a second. 
Unless you happen to pick a name very coincidentally close to Icots. I'd have to look at my notes, but the, the whole game is based on Icots. I, uh, I didn't do anything bad, did I? It, it just goes without saying, of course, but I have absolutely no interest in jo joining them. Yes, I know. It's not your fault someone else tried to scout you, but you didn't leave him with any way to contact you, did you? Nope. I just left him with a polite smile and a thank you very much. That's it. Perfect. Then you didn't do anything wrong. That's our Makoto. <laughs> that was a part of the line. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, and I totally don't need this business card either, so could you shred it for me, please? Don't throw it at me. <laughs> I know I can trust Makoto to keep a cool head in these situations, but as her producer, I still need to keep a close eye on her nonetheless. There's any number of shady, sleazy agencies out there who might try to cause her no end of undeserved hardship. If I don't protect her from them, who will? You'll hunt them down. <sighs> Finally, all that's left is to file today's paperwork at the office and go home. Not that I'd mind skipping out on that first step tonight, but what are you gonna do? It's part of the job. Hmm? I'd be used to seeing Makoto out for a jog at this hour, but who is that with her? Evening, producer! How was work? G good evening, producer. Good evening, Makoto. Chihaya. I see you two still had some energy left over at the end of the day, at least. <laughs> Yeah, well, that sort of thing's the norm for me anyway. True enough. I'm just a little surprised to see you with her, Chihaya. I do accompany her on her excursions periodically. Running is a phenomenal way to build up your strength in your diaphragm, and accordingly, your singing voice. Dude, Chihaya's freaking incredible! I like to think I'm a pretty fast jogger, but this girl, she's kept up with me the whole way! Yeah, that is no small feat, Chihaya. I doubt it's all that impressive. I know she was holding back for my sake. I would never claim to be able to compete with her at her finest. Oh. There aren't many who could, I'd wager. Her athleticism is seriously one in a million. <laughs> if there's one thing I've got going for me, it's that. Well, if it was the only thing you had going for you, you wouldn't be at, you wouldn't be at this rank. Makoto, let's not keep him any longer. Oh, right, we better get back to it now, producer, before our bodies cool off too much. Sorry to have held you up. Good night, girls. Have fun, and don't run so hard that you miss work tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> They're both working really hard, even this late. An example I need to follow, to be sure. Alright, let's finish off that paperwork. Uh, sure. What'd I do? Excellent. I don't know, click buttons. Okay, then. Lay down. Let's see, what is on Makoto's schedule right now? Ah, a dance lesson. I'm gonna go see her. I think we've seen more lessons in Makoto's route than we have in Chihaya's. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it would be better to call ahead, though. Just to make sure we don't miss each other. Beep, 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 beep. Brr, brr, brr. Click. Oh, no. I, I got that wrong. <laughs> Let me try that again. You better call ahead though, just to make sure we don't miss each other. <laughs> oh hey! And it's the girl herself. Guess that takes care of that. Beep. Hello, this is Hana. Hey, it's here! Save me, producer! None of all. 
Naruto, what in hell's name is happening over there? It disconnected? Oh god, please no. I have to get over there right the fuck now. Right the fuck now. Please hang in there just a little more. Please hang in there just a little longer, Makoto. Producer's going super sad. <laughs> Makoto! Makoto! Are you alright? Producer! <laughs> Makoto! Let go of me! Can't breathe! when they're dying. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit myself. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was cutting off your airway. I'll let go. No. <sighs> I thought it was game over there for a second. Really, really sorry. I was just freaking out so bad when I saw you. I, please forgive me. I honestly didn't mean it. It's fine. I'm just glad we're both alive. Now, can you please tell me what made you completely lose it? I have never heard you shriek like that before. Usually, you hardly let anything actually frighten you. Not, not this time. It's your producer. That terrible, horrifying, big, brown, black, flying thing! Big, brown, oh. black, flying, and horrifying? You mean a cockroach? Yeah, please don't, don't speak its name! Just hearing the word gives me chills. But, yes. Uh, of all Kill the it. shit that could have happened to me today, that thing had to come in here and start flying around! I, uh... I know it can be distracting to have one flying around when you're trying to practice, but I don't think you have to be so deathly afraid of it like the world is ending. Maybe take your own advice. <laughs> Shut up. No. It's just a bug. It can't do anything to hurt you. Take your own advice. <laughs> I'd rather take Makoto's advice. It is not just a bug, and it can do a zillion things to hurt me, probably all at the same time. As if it wasn't already terrifying enough. I swear to god, this is like the reverse of you and me on the norm. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where the damn thing went! It could be hiding anywhere, just waiting to jump out at me the instant I let my guard down. Or what if it's hiding on me and I don't even know it? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god, it's a bug! Okay. I hate cockroaches, but I still murder it. Okay, I'll give you that one. That would be pretty terrible. <laughs> if it was just sitting still, like they always do exactly when you don't want them to. You wouldn't even be able to tell. How dare that cockroach try to sully my idol's appearance. Ah! Did, did, it, did it really? Producer? Producer! No, calm down. I was just speaking in rhetoric. I don't know if it actually landed up. I don't know if it actually landed on you yet. I don't see it anywhere, though, just from taking a quick look at you. Ah, make sure! Please, make sure! You can come look all over me as close as you want, I don't care, just please, 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 making sure it's not on me! <laughs> oh my god. Fine, fine, just hold, hold, hold still for a sec. I'll check the one place I'm most worried about. Stop shivering! You're making this difficult. Is it there? It better not be. The police told me it's not. I don't think so. Holy! Ah, get it off! Get it no, off! She, she's a. When, when I said, when I was about to say, holy, she thought I was confirming that it was on her. Sorry. 
Didn't mean to scare you. There, there's no bug in your hair, Makoto. I was reacting to how soft and clean it is. You really have been taking good care of it. But anyway... If you haven't seen it for a while, isn't it also possible that it just went back outside? Really? Oh my god, my life is saved! <sighs> well, if it does show up again, I'll be here to get rid of it this time. So please, try to calm down, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, producer. You have to be the most dependable guy ever to exist. I, uh... Not sure I quite deserve to be thanked that much just for this one little thing. I'm sure there's any number of guys who could drive away a cockroach. No, you seriously have no idea how much it means to me. Here I am being such a girl and you're still taking time out of your schedule to placate me when you're so busy with all of us. Not to mention you came running straight to me when I called. Well, of course I'm gonna come running, though, when you call screaming bloody murder and then hang up like something out of a bad creepypasta. But there's always time in my schedule for you, Makoto. <laughs> You're so nice to me. I hope you stay my producer forever and ever. You have to retire when you're like 25, though, Makoto. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Again, I'm really not doing anything that special, I don't think. But I'm glad I was eventually able to get her to settle down, at least. Apparently it's a good thing I rushed over here after all. I'll do anything for the sake of her peace and peace of mind. And mine. Did I ever tell you this story? I did have to drive away a cockroach for a girl once in college. I was uh, on my w I was in the dorms and I was on my way down to the laundry room in a basement in the basement to do my laundry and uh there was a girl in the laundry room doing her laundry and suddenly she started freaking out because she noticed a cockroach on one of the washers and she <laughs> looked at me all like, I really hate to be a girl, but can you please kill it for me? <laughs> so I did. I had an experience with cockroaches. One of them was uh, elementary. I don't know where the exhalation of like, when I was younger, I didn't kill care of killing it but when I got older I just got disgusted by it mm -hmm. but um by them that um <clears throat> I think I remember seeing one like crawling around and it was like with my Girl Scout troop and everyone jumped on the cafeteria table freaking <laughs> out like oh yeah. my god what is the yeah. <laughs> and they just see it run over under the is this in the window one? yeah no uh, so it ran under the trash can which is wheelable, so I pushed it away, it's going back, and I just completely one-stomp it. <laughs> one and they're stomp. like, why are, you not and then, why are you not afraid? I'm like, it's a bug. You kill it. <laughs> it's like, it's more scared of you. It's running away. It's more scared of you than it is scared of me. It's it more scared of you than scared of me. That you scared of, of like, you should be scared of it. There you go. So, it's, so I'm like, eh. <laughs> Alright, this time I'm positive I'm not forgetting anything. Time to go home. Producer! What the shit? Uh, oh. It's just you, Makoto. Oh, maybe I should have gone, producer. No, it was weird sing-songy, not ghosty. Uh, nope. yeah, but... Jeez, what the hell's up with that reaction? Are you trying to wound my maiden heart? Yeah, um, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You just kind of caught me off guard a little bit, and... Uh... Oh, really? I could have sworn that was a sigh of disappointment you gave when you realized it was me. No. If anything, it was more a sigh of relief. Couldn't really make out that... that... Never mind, was there something you needed? Well, I was just about to give you a present, actually, but after being treated like that... Oh, come on! I already told you that wasn't it! I said I was sorry! <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Here you go. I hope you like it. Make good use of it. <clears throat> Right. 
Thank you very much, Makoto. And with a big smile, she waved goodnight and left. Out of respect for her feelings, I better make sure I do put her gift to good use. Producer must have such a sweet tooth with all this chocolate he gets. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> I can't run the game with that hand. Too bad. Give the hand back. Oh. Miki, your turn. No, he's scratching my head. Oh, hi, producer. Oh. Hey, Makoto. How goes the lesson? <clears throat> Oh, and Chihai and Miki are with you. Did you two decide to join in? Mm -hmm. Miki just came to watch Mako, uh, Mako Kun do her dance lesson. Mako Kun? <laughs> that is not what that says. Mako Toku. <laughs> Me, I just happen to be accompanying Miki. Having done so today, th having done so today, though, I must say I'm once again impressed by Makoto's superior dancing prowess. <laughs> Stop! You're embarrassing me. I'm really happy that someone as naturally gifted as you would have such nice things to say about my dancing, though, Chihaya. I merely speak the truth. Hmm. What's going on here? Miki's shipping the two of them together. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You can't hide these things from Miki. Makoto-kun is totally after she hires us. What? After her? As in... I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Miki. Too bad, though. You can't have her. She's already Miki's! And she is way too awesome to share. Um... <laughs> Me, My Chihaya. I don't think you Makoto is of that persuasion. Hang on, what? I'm about to persuade someone of my fist in five seconds. Hey, wait, Chihaya, since when were you and Miki a thing? D don't look at me, she's the one who said it. <laughs> There is totally something going on here. You see it too, don't you, producer? What the fuck, Miki? <laughs> Even I'm in shock. <laughs> Better watch out, Makoto. She's on to you. God damn it, you just couldn't resist joining in on the fun, could you, producer? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think that's more than enough fun at your expense. Miki, let's give the girl a break already. Sorry. No, no, Makoto. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> Sorry and stuff, Makoto. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, it, it's not like I didn't know it was a joke, okay? I, you just completely blindsided me. Yeah, no, no goes at the end of a sentence, so if you had done, if you had wanted to do it that way, you should have gone, Sorry, Makoto, no, no. No, no. Okay. Oh, we were joking. <laughs> I have no idea what the <laughs> fuck was going on. <laughs> See, it's just the way you responded to Shihaya Sun's comp a compliment. It kind of sounded like something you'd say to a girl when you were trying extra hard to get on her good side, you know? It depends on what you're listening for, too, I think, Miss Lover of Love Gossip. Although, I can't help but wonder if Makoto's popularity with the girls has anything to do with them getting the same kind of mixed signals from her when she says stuff like that. Yeah, do I really say stuff that can be misinterpreted that easily? Ugh, I guess I should be more careful. If I can figure out how... Oops. 
Mm, she just has that way with words. Speaks her mind and doesn't realize when she's saying something that means a lot. Like a gender-flipped nice guy anime hero. You could almost say she has a gift for it. But anyway, at least this conversation diffused itself before it got out of hand. No sleepies. I'm not sleepy. No sleeping. It's just Mom, making me yeah, relax. Yeah, you should read these fanfics about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> the only heart I'm after is Yuki House. Well, speaking of which... <laughs> Oh my god, what? That title! <laughs> Alright, I believe what? Makoto said she would... Alright, I believe Makoto said she would be around here. Hmm? Um, um, Makoto-chan? Please don't be so upset. They didn't mean to offend you, you know? You don't have to take it so personally, okay? I know. Sorry, Yukiho. I'll be alright. Hey, girls. Didn't realize you two would be out together. Is, uh, something wrong, Makoto? You don't seem like you're holding up very well at the moment. Producer? No, no, nothing's wrong. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. Um, it's fairly obvious you're not fine, though. Yukiho, what happened, please? Was there an accident? Um, what should I say? We were just out for a walk in the park, but... People we passed by kept telling us that, that we look cute together, so, um... Dun, dun, dun. Is that it? But no, because whenever I asked them what they meant, they always said something like, you and your handsome boyfriend, of course. So, yeah. Bad. Ah, uh, okay, so she's just bummed out about that. Thank goodness. For a second, I was afraid you'd been injured. I have been injured, producer! An injury to my poor maiden heart! It was five times! Five times! I got called her handsome boyfriend! <sighs> come on, don't let it get you down that much! Isn't this sort of thing... Well, I don't know if I want to say typical, but it's, y you know, it's just that uh, 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 everyone was complimenting you for how cool you look, right? What do you think, Yukiho? Y yes, I think so too. Makoto-chan is always the coolest. Yukiho, you're not helping! Mm, I'm sorry, Makoto-chan. I didn't mean it that way. But because... I don't, don't just think you're the coolest. I think you're also always the cutest. You know? You really mean that? Of course I do. You're my best friend. And if there's one thing I can say with confidence, it's that I know how cool and cute you really are. So please cheer up. Y yeah, huh. <laughs> I guess you're right. Thanks, bestie. What? What? It just that sounds so out of character for Makoto. Bestie. It felt appropriate to me in the in the mood in the moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Sometimes when you use words like that, it surprises me because you don't really use internet lingo. Though I guess that doesn't really count as internet lingo. No, I wouldn't say it does. If I had had her, if I had had Makoto call her like BFF or some shit like that. Oh God, no! You know the funny thing is, they still kind of look like a world, world. They still kind of look like a worried girlfriend cheering up her moping boyfriend. It's a charming scene. But I'm probably going to want to keep that thought to myself for now. Kayla, what uh, do we do? My leg is cramping. I had to roll over. Ah. Last one. Whoops.
can I please stop screwing this up? Okay. Makoto should be just about done with her meeting, shouldn't she? I think I'll go check on her since they managed to get out of mine a little early. Man, beautiful weather we're having today, though. I'd love to go find a quiet place outside to just chill out for a bit. But a producer's work is never done. Not this producer's, at any rate. No, oh, producer, it's you. Did you come all the way out here just to check on me again? Sure did, since I knew you were just about to get out of your meeting. Which appears to be the case. How'd it go? <laughs> How'd you think? I'm really sorry I had to make you do it all by yourself. I don't normally like to do that, but unfortunately an irreconcilable scheduling conflict came up this time, and... Dude, it's no problem, I understand. There's 13 of us. It's gonna happen sometimes. Besides, it was those same magazine people we already met with, so it's not like I couldn't handle another meeting myself. I only asked because I knew I could count on you, Makoto. So, ready to go back? Yes! I mean, wait, no! Can we make a pit stop first, producer? Yes? Stop where? Well, you know, it's just before we head back, I kind of want to try that. That? You mean the crane game? Yes! That one super cute, adorable bear plushie is calling my name and I really want to try to go in for it. I read that wrong, but oh well. <laughs> uh, you're not talking about the idol bear in the floral dress, are you? I could get you one of those in a heartbeat. We designed them! In fact, I think we might still have a few of the original shipment lying around in the back room somewhere. I know, I know all that, but that's not the point. It, it's gotta be that one. That's the one that caught my eye as I was just walking past. And I looked at it. And it stared straight back at me with those teddy bear eyes. And I knew right then and there it was love at first sight. <clears throat> okay, that's... interesting. <laughs> but it's not like we're in a particularly big hurry at the moment, so I suppose I can give you a few minutes to play the crane game. Really? Yippee! Oh man, you're the best producer. I knew you'd understand if I poured my heart out to you. You totally get me. Is Kayla? She's on the blanket pile in the corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I do understand, to be honest. But I know from a few too many experiences not to get between a girl and love at first sight. And you are definitely a girl. <laughs> you know it. This throbbing could only come from the heart of a pure maiden. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm on fire now. I'm gonna go nab ten of those critters, at least. <clears throat> I think your supposed love at first sight might have a few words to say about that. But she's not just trying to be cute. She is honestly really excited about this. I'd do anything if it means getting to see more of that brilliant smile of hers. Yeah. Anything. Oh. And that's where we're going to leave this episode off. We'll see yeah. you guys in the next rank. When we come back, it'll be time for rank B. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> hey guys, do you like our content? Do you want to support the show? Click the link in the description below to visit our donation page. All proceeds go towards new and better equipment and games you want to see us play. Everyone who donates will get a special shout out at the end of future videos, and we're currently working on setting up some special perks for you. If you don't want to donate, that's okay too. You can support us by subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for joining us today, fellow producers. Missed an episode? Click the box on the left to get caught up on Let's Voice Act the Idol Master one for all. Or check that box on the right to see some awesome cosplayers. Oh man, one day I'm gonna be just as cute adorable as them. Just you watch.